Welcome back to the shed, y'all. Got a few items going out tomorrow. Um, don't know when y'all will see this. Today is actually President's Day, so there was no USPS running today, so we're going to wait and ship things out tomorrow morning. Um, I believe this is three days of sales. Still having slow sales over on eBay, um, but we did have two sales to one person on Amazon, and we had three sales over on Macari. Nothing on Poshmark. Um, but this is, like I said, a total of 13 items going out for about $240. Um, and no, that, you know, that $240 we're going to get, um, we had to pay some of the shipping and stuff, some of this stuff to customers paying the shipping, but still all in all, a decent three days, I would say we're going to start out over on, uh, over on Amazon, where we had small sale, um, two items to one person, but it's actually going to save us money on shipping. All right, we had someone that bought two of these uh, ink pad sets right here, and these are made by Studio G. Um, we just happened across these on um, a girl that was doing a yard sale locally that we know her, but we didn't know that she had all these ink pads and stuff, and she had some stamps and some ink pads and some other uh, craft items, and she was trying to offload this stuff, so we bought some of it. We have like 50 cent or a dollar in each one of these, and let's see, one of them sold for $9.79, and the other one sold for $9.98. Now, of course, eBay's take, I mean, eBay. Amazon is of course taking whatever their fee is on both of these items and when I ship just one of these it costs me around four dollars so I'm going to ship both of them for four bucks so this person buying two of them is actually saving me money on shipping and in a minute I'm going to show you something. I'll pop it up here. Uh, something my wife found on Facebook Marketplace. And I don't want to leave her out on this one because, well, because when she does stuff well, I like to tell her and I like to put it on this channel so I can document that I said she did good. <laughs> so I, we will talk about that right after these three Macari sales, y'all. <laughs> and this first one is something that a lot of people probably wouldn't even list. Um, it's a small item and it's Tupperware. It is a Tupperware lid. This is a really small lid and I think it's called, um, I think these things are, the bowls that these fit are called like servaliers or something like that. But anyways, very, very small item. It is a vintage piece. Um, and these come in a variety of colors. You got your orange, your brown, your yellow, your green. Um, I don't think there was a red in these. There's an almond color also. Um, but the number on this is, well, that is hard to read, yo. I think it's 812-25. I could be wrong, but I think that's right. Very small item, but I got this with some other bowls and stuff. Y'all, I probably have a quarter in this thing. It just sold for $11 over on Macari. So $11 minus, what, $4 for shipping. Uh, easy money to be made right there. Just throw that in a little bubble mailer. You could probably throw it in a poly mailer, and that would be fine also. Then I have this uh, yellow Nintendo N64 controller. It does have one little scratch on it, but that doesn't really matter. As long as this thing works and um, the sticks and all and buttons are in good condition and not sticking, these things will sell between $20 and $25. This one right here sold for $25 with free shipping. Um, and I don't know how much this weighs. It weighs eight ounces, so I think I can put this in one of my eight by eight by four boxes and it'll ship out first class. Then we have something that my wife picked up at Sam's Club. She's picked up quite a few things on clearance at Sam's Club before. Um, this is a member's mark pool float, and this is a huge swan with a, a crown on it. And she paid, I believe, $6.98 or something like that for these, so seven bucks. This one right here sold for $17, and the buyer is paying the UPS shipping for it. Um, and I think we had them listed for like maybe $19 or something like that. But since this one sold over there on Macari, we immediately relisted another one on Macari, and hopefully that'll be a quick sale also. Now, 
I'm going to pull up this picture so I can see it because I don't remember what games are in here. But I'm going to stick this up over here or there or somewhere. But my wife picked up yesterday a $35 Wii bundle on Marketplace. And it was only about five miles from our house. All right, so we got a Wii. This is the older Wii that you can um, play GameCube games in. And you can hook your GameCube um, controllers up to it. And so it's like a backwards compatible Wii, but it came with two controllers. Um, one of the controllers had the Motion Plus built in, and the other one came with the Motion Plus adapter. Um, it also came with a steering wheel and a, I, I think it's called like a crossbow or a gun attachment. But check this out, y'all. Of course, at $35, when I sell the Wii itself, um, it's going to get me my money back. All right, but in that, and you can see in the picture, there is a Wii Sports Resort. There is a, and that game right there is worth like 30 bucks right by itself. And there's a Madden 10, which really isn't worth a whole lot. Um, and then there's a, a Basketball 2K10, that's not really worth a whole lot. I'll probably put those two together and sell them with the Wii. Um, and then there is a Deca Sports 2. Not a great game. Um, it's worth maybe eight to ten dollars. Then there's a Blazing Angels in there. That's not worth much either. And what I'll probably do with these that aren't worth much is I will save them. And then when I get another Wii console, I'll lot them together with that, and make a bundle, and that'll kind of help sell that Wii. Um, next up, we have Mario Kart. That's a great one right there, y'all. Um, if I pair that Mario Kart with This steering wheel right here, I will probably get, I don't know, $35. I might could squeeze $40 out of it, but probably $35. Then we have the Monster 4x4 game that came with it. Um, I will lot that with the uh, steering wheel that came with that. And I don't know, I'll probably ask maybe $15 for it. And hopefully I can get that out uh, first class so it won't cost me so much. But what you don't see in that picture, in the bottom right of that picture, there is a Wii Sports game in there with the manual. So we got Wii Sports Resort, Mario Kart, and we got a Wii Sports. The Wii Sports is going to sell for about $20. 20 to 25 dollars i would say and then there's also a lynx crossbow training game in there so i'm going to sell that link game with the crossbow um controller attachment whatever you call it so i'm gonna get my money back when i sell the wii but then we're going to make money off wii sports resort we're going to make money off of wii sports we're going to make money off the mario kart so my wife did great on that one y'all um we <laughs> I guess you could call it troll, but we look, we scan through Facebook Marketplace every day looking for deals. Like today, um, I found one up there that a woman had a tote full of Scentsy stuff. She must have been a consultant because she also had a consultant bag. She had over 100 of your Scentsy wax melts that were brand new. And then she had, I think it was nine of the large ones and she had a few that had already been used. Um, so she was asking $100. And my wife sent her a message and she has not heard back from her yet. But y'all, 100 Scentsy wax bars. Um, we normally lock two wax bars up together for like 12 bucks. So you can just imagine with 100 of them how much money you can make. I mean, there's probably three or $400 worth of profit after fees and shipping and everything in there. So... Um, that's something I recommend. Scan your local Facebook marketplace looking for deals, y'all. You, you'd be surprised how much stuff is right there around you that you don't have to travel but five or ten miles to pick this stuff up, and there's good money to be made doing it, y'all. But anyways, let's get back to over on eBay where we had eight items that sold. I think I paid somewhere around $5 for this item right here. And I picked up three of these Walking Dead Funko Pops at the same yard sale that we got those ink pads that we sold over on Amazon. 
And this is Daryl Dixon. It is a black and white Funko Pop, um, number 145. And like I said, I think I paid like five bucks for it. I paid up a little bit. We were trying to help that girl out because she was trying to clear her house out and she was trying to raise some money. So this sold for $17.99, not making a bunch off of that. But the other two, the um, I think it was Merle Dixon and... Um, I think it was Rick. Um, I believe those sold for closer to 30 bucks. So not making a whole bunch off of this one, but like I said, 18 bucks. Um, next up, we have a hoodie that we've had for a while. This is from 2017, which y'all probably can't see it in here, but it's a 2017 Walt Disney World zip up hoodie. And it's a size extra large. And I don't know what we paid for it, but I do know that it sold for $27.99 with free shipping. It's too heavy to go out first class, so we will probably uh, fold that thing up and put it in a flat rate bubble mailer and ship it out of here. All right, this game right here, I picked up in a bundle from a guy I used to work with. I bought a PlayStation 2 from him, and this was one of the games that was in there. It's Tekken 4. It's the game in great condition with the manual and the case. And this right here sold for $19.89 with free shipping. Super easy shipper. Toss it in a bubble mailer and send it out first class. Here's one you probably wouldn't think much of, but um, we buy these things when we find them for like 50 cent, 25 cent and stuff. Um, these are paper rolls for a handheld calculator. These are very small ones. These are only the uh, one inch diameters, but they are brand new and, sorry about that. They are brand new, and like I said, we'd probably pay 50 cent for these, and we grab them in case we find some of those calculators for really cheap. We can lock this with the calculator to help sell it, but this one right here, y'all, sold for $13 free shipping. Y'all know it's going to cost about some, probably a little less than four dollars to ship this thing and like i said 50 cent in it easy money to be made dom you will sit on these for a while they are long tail items but we just hold on to them in case we get a calculator that they fit then we have a saint john's bay um vest here and it's it's like a, a royal blue or navy blue yeah, this is more like a navy blue, but it also has a plaid flannel pattern on the inside. It's a size large. This thing is in really, really good condition, and I don't have in there what we paid for it, but I don't know. It probably came from a thrift shop. I don't remember, but y'all always check these pockets on these things. You never know what you're going to find in them. I got a video about that. Um, I have found money and stuff. I have found weird notes and stuff. But always check those pockets. You never know. You might find some old Redline Hot Wheel car or some, something in there. But this right here sold for $23.46. And the buyer is paying priority shipping. They are paying $11.45 for that. So they are paying my shipping. Love that. A while back at a Salvation Army, I picked up a Majestic Filter Queen vacuum that had a whole bunch of attachments and stuff with it, and that thing worked great, y'all. Um, we have sold a couple parts of it already, and I've got my money back. I paid $25 for that thing. And these two little cords right here that came with it sold for $14.99 with free shipping, and again, just throw this thing in a little bubble mailer and ship it out for less than four bucks. Two items left, y'all. This one right here, I picked up in that huge Jeff Gordon lot a while back. And I've been selling a lot more of this stuff recently because I'm trying to get it out of here. I'm promoting this stuff. This one actually was not a promoted listing, but I am throwing out offers every time I get a watcher on this stuff. This right here is a license plate. I can't remember what year it's from. Uh, 1998 Jeff Gordon JG Motorsports. Um, this and this thing is brand new, y'all. It's never been used. It's still got the original sticker on the back of 50 cents. Um, May 12th of 2000. It sold from a Winn Dixie store in Jacksonville, Florida. Pretty cool. 
it sold for $14.75 free shipping. Now, when I ship these things out, what I will normally do is I will take a piece of cardboard and put on this side and a piece and put on that side and sandwich it so it doesn't get bent too much. And I'm, I'll just I'll just let the cardboard kind of overlap on the end and just tape it closed. But that's how I ship them, y'all. And I just throw them in either a bubble mailer or a, um, a poly mailer, one or the other. And our last item is this right here. This is NBA 2K17. Not a great game. Um, and it's actually not in the best of condition. It is the disc and the manual, and I don't know how good y'all can see this, but this thing works. I've tested it, but you probably can't see it. I'm gonna move the camera to see if you can see it a little better. I'll try, but this thing, y'all, has got some scratches. You can probably see them right about there. This thing has a bunch of scratches on it, but it works. And in an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you what I purchased today to try to help me out with games like that right there, y'all. Um, this one actually sold for more than I thought because of all those scratches. I had plenty of pictures of the scratches in there, but this thing sold for $11.96. Oh, excuse me, $11.90. There's a glare on my, on my phone down there. But y'all, um, I'm hoping to be able to start to clean these games up a little better. In the upcoming video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. But y'all, that's what's going on here tomorrow. Um, it is 7.07 p.m., so it's about time to eat something. Um, thanks to my wife for coming out here and pulling all these items, except for like two of them. Um, I had to put brake pads on my car that I drive back and forth to work every day. Um, my little uh, my little thrift machine <laughs> that I use uh, whenever I go on solo runs, yard sales and stuff like that. But um, y'all, I appreciate you being here. Hope you saw something that you can look for, that you can go out and try to sell on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Amazon, wherever you feel free to sell it. All right, y'all, I appreciate you being here. Um, if you have not hit that thumbs up yet, please do so. I have noticed that recently in my analytics on my YouTube channel that about, I think it was around 79% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed for one, but um, somewhere in the 60 percentile do not give the videos a thumbs up. So either they don't like it or they're just not clicking that little thumbs up. Well, y'all... If you are already subscribed, I just want to let y'all know that the more that thumbs up button gets hit, the more my videos get sent out and I have a chance for more people to see them and I might get more subscribers to my channel. But if y'all would click that thumbs up, I sure would appreciate it. And thank y'all again for being here and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.